narrative changes coming, space station inbound, and more. All in today's video, guys. So grab a beverage, a hot cup of liberty, and let's dive right into the video. To start off with, guys, we are going to take a quick look at the most recent major order. A lot of people were saying we could foul this one, but it seems we absolutely smashed it. As you can see, it now says, Stand by for further orders from Super Earth High Command. And if you go over to the Liberated Planet, the space station is now under construction. Construction has begun on the Democracy Space Station. The local populace is honored to host thousands of construction crews for this historic event. So democracy is certainly coming home. For any of you who don't know, this major order is aimed at the battle station, the supposedly clan station, community hub, democracy station, however you want to put it. A community hub would be so awesome. Imagine a docking station for your ships, interacting with players. But at this point, no one really knows what it will be for. Many are saying though, it could be to do with clans, as there was a leak some time ago relating to this. So let's await the next major order. It's gonna be a good one. So now moving on to Discord, Mr. Twinbeard posted an announcement regarding ragdolling. And since this update, I will say this, the ragdoll is still a bit of an issue. I mean, it's funny at times, but it kind of throws off your gameplay quite dramatically. Twinbeard, hey guys, where are we at in terms of ragdolling at the moment? A little better, much better, just the right amount, a lot of flinching after being ragdolled or stunned, etc. We might do a poll on this, but I thought I'd get a head start. Now, the automatons are crazy for ragdolling, thrown around here, there, and everywhere. It's literally insane. Let me know your thoughts on the ragdolling below. Is it better since the most recent update? Personally, I think so, since the rocket devastators have been nerfed. And you know, they was a massive problem. Relating to this, apparently we may be seeing some new narrative elements being explored. What could this mean? What could this be? You tell me, but I know one thing, this sounds really exciting and so amazing. A second game mask is coming as well, so a lot of juicy content could be flown our way very, very soon. And you know, with the mess of the game recently, we could sure use this. It's not what I know best, so we'll try not to jump around on thin ice like an 18 year old who just found the key to his parents' booze cabinet. But I agree that we would have liked to explore the narrative parts more. We're still looking for our second game master and we are expanding our narrative team. So we're still playing catch up a bit here and there. I hope that six or nine months from now, we can look back on several memorable story driven missions and events having unfolded in the game universe. This is going to make Helldivers 2 so much better in terms of content. A live service game needs this, so I'm glad to hear they are working behind the scenes on some great things to come. I love the idea of more story driven elements and introducing more narratives overall. Let me know, are you excited for this? Because I sure am. Regarding the democracy station, I mean, come on, is that a democracy station? When you look at the presidential candidates, they look like bloody communists. <laughs> It's the biggest one we have had in a while, major order wise, so to see more of this plan is so great. On a similar note, Twinbeard actually gave his viewpoint on how he saw the last few months. Yeah, you know, the nerfs and the balancing. Yeah, 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 Let, let's not go back there, okay? Let's, let's not go back there. I see it this way, and I bet most Arrowhead staff agree. There was a vision at first. That vision hasn't changed, but it's evolved and been tweaked along the way after having millions and millions of people playing the game, supplying feedback over several months. Previously, we were too occupied, listened too little, and tried too hard to make the game challenging. But along the way, we got lost a little and sacrificed parts of what makes the game fun. We've adapted, managed to get back to a better place, and now we can take it from there and develop the game further, knowing more of what our fundamentals are. Just brainstorming, not a deep analysis, of course. So at least they are fully aware of where they stand and they can't really afford to have another major hit like the Escalation of Freedom update because if that happened, bye bye Held Harvest 2. Yes, bye bye Held Harvest 2. I don't want that, you don't want that, and... So yeah, let's try and keep things at bay, okay, okay, at bay 
for Manage Democracy. One thing I think is amazing to note here though is the events. I've been saying this for some time that in-game events would be good to see. Maybe participating could give you special items, would help with progression based elements. And regarding narrative driven elements as well, this could be related to Liberty Day. Friendly reminder, Liberty Day is officially one month away. Attendance is mandatory and fun. So if you don't, it's treason. So go turn up and have fun or be killed. I mean, if there's free liberty, count me in. Yeah, definitely count me in. Moving on, I saw this meme that was sent to me. I thought I'd share regarding the Adjusticator. Didn't realize this until a couple of games later. Oh, Adjusticator, I'm just feeling real low. I can destroy Rocket Striders at their base plates. I actually did not know this, and I think I'm going to have to pick this up again and test it out for sure. And apparently this gun wasn't even buffed at all with the latest update. So perhaps players did not give it a chance to begin with because the weapon is obviously the same stats wise. I thought it was a bit clunky to be fair, like the Liberator Penetrator. That's why I use the sickle mostly. And regarding the sickle, have you ever thought about a last 48 minigun sickle? Yes, I said it. Minigun sickle. Because someone actually made an example right here, and it's absolutely mad. Fan art, the Gatling laser mock-up, less brass, same number of shots. Last 48 Reaper is my favorite so far. Other suggestions have been combine, fresher, trident, whatever it is going to be called. I'll take two of them. Man, that just looks mad. Look, it looks mad. Three barrels from the sickle kind of carved together, and it does look like a sickle minigun. I want that for managed democracy. You know, the bugs will be literally crying. Yeah, they'll be crying when that thing comes into the battlefield. The things players come up with in this community is great, man. I want that. Give that to me for managed democracy. Arrowhead make this happen because this is literally an insane weapon. The major question though is, would you want crazy weapons like this in Helldivers 2? A quick message from today's sponsor, do what he says or it could be treason. <laughs> So a meme come upon Reddit which suggested removing helmets. Imagine if they introduced custom appearances like in Unreal Engine 5, being able to have different beards, face types, hair color. I think this would add some crazy roleplay elements, but the reason I think it would not enter the game is, well, because of these people. Please add LGBTQ plus representation to the game. It would mean a lot to people like me. It's not just about representation, it's about making everyone feel included, Plus, it would attract more people to purchase the game. Already have LGBT. Let's go, Bob Terminator. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Award for you, sir. Yes, unfortunately, once you add custom appearances into the game, all the rainbow people come out to play and they want a piece of the pie. So yeah, maybe it's not a good idea. No. As on Steam, you can see this is shouted a lot. And I can speak for the mass majority here. I know if you're watching this video, you don't want that in the game. I don't want that in the game. So um, yeah, yeah, let's just keep that out of the game. Okay, let's keep that out of the game. Moving forward, we are checking out some leaks related to this major order. So let's recap on some things. This is by Iron Sights. Emblem editor system for platoons. Emblem frame, emblem system, emblem background, change emblem layer. I mean, if you could create custom clans like on Call of Duty, that would be so sick. But personally, I think it would be limited to keep things in line with the game. And I'm okay with this if it's something simple and it keeps held of as held of as you know. The last thing we want is major division in the game with people creating clans that are either weird, stupid, or you know, just straight up gay. I said it. Yes, I said it. Gay. What is that? What the f is that? Keep held overs, held overs, neutral. That's what the people want. There was also a post leak some time ago, a pretty big one to be fair regarding platoon stratagems. It got more traction since this clan station major order dropped, so I thought we'd go over it here. Platoon stratagems. This is by Tier 5 NPC. Hope you guys are having a wonderful end of the week. In this post, we will be going over the confirmed clan or platoon stratagems, which have made their many pulls and re-emergence throughout the many controversial updates Helldivers 2 has been receiving. The video below will showcase the confirmed stratagems which will be
be unlockable when you will be able to launch your own held over battalion and clans and will be explained in the order of which the video plays. As you know we may have different doors open depending upon what president is elected in game in regards to the stratagems we could receive and this is also similar to the platoons there was carpet bombs included, 10,000 kg bombs, yes, 10,000 kg bombs. Would you be okay with stratagems being locked behind certain platoons? Drop a comment and let me know. I think it would add more diverse choices, which makes the game more interesting overall. Now onto the voice lines, yes, because voice lines in this game are super iconic. So Twinbeard did confirm there will be more voice lines here. There will be more voice lines for Helldivers 2 going forward in general. In what regard and for exactly what I can't say, even if I know some of it as to the default characters voice lines I don't know really. So this is probably for new enemies such as the Illuminate, maybe characters on ships, but I'd love to see more voice lines for our main characters. Cause again, as I said, that's what makes the game super iconic. And you know, just hearing like the voice lines in regards to like, you know, the Cup of Liberty, you know, I love that just because, um, you know, li Liberty. So I would love to see more voice lines in general in the game. Moving on to the community comments. Yes, because managed democracy has to prevail on YouTube. Hear me out guys, Bile Titan Stalker, or better, Hunter Charger, or wait, Streaking Charger Stalker. Don't even get me started bro, because if that comes into the game, I'd literally uh, crap myself, because they're just menacing as they are. So if we had like a Charger, the size of let's say a Bile Titan, Yep, I'm straight up quitting. I'm literally quitting because, um, yeah, that would make me cry, literally. Stinky Dog says, democracy reigns supreme. Dapper Potato says, I mean, Super Earth is basically space Nazis, so space Hitler isn't that much of a stretch. I know who I'm voting for. I know who I'm voting for. Yes, Sir Winston Richmond. Good video. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Neon says, for organized anarchy. It looks like we have a chaos diver in the comments, guys. And you know, us Lordus of Super Earth, we've got to do something about it. Tana Drake says, that just be the internet. These hypocrites ask for something. They get that thing, but overhauled. And now they don't want it anymore. The life of game development. You can never please everybody. Yes, I agree, man. It doesn't matter what you do. There's always going to be someone who complains. But as long as you're doing what the mass majority want, who straight up cares? Leroy Jenkins says, The theory is that this space Hitler is General Brash. If that's how you say it, General Brash. Get your General Brash. Winston Richmond, 2024. Lee Worthington says, You're the only person I can generally watch for Helldivers 2 news and videos without getting bored. Laugh out loud. Well, I straight up appreciate that, bro. I straight up appreciate that. Nick Pett says, One month till Liberty Day. Illuminate could be close, you know. Who knows? I mean, who, who knows at this point? Sonny Do YouTube says, If Arrowhead ever choose to release a combat knife to the game i'll be the first one doing a super held of combat knife only run solo a solo run with just a bayonet or a knife yet yeah, man you'd be crazy i mean i'm crazy but that's that's just 10 times more crazy love your videos keep up the good work a lot of you guys have asked about memberships and merch and just so you know it's coming and also Liberty Day is coming. So watch out for all of that. As some of you may know, I do actually run a small skate brand. It's not merch, but it's something still created by me. And I try to, from time to time, rock it in these videos, you know. And if you like trippy edgy graphic t-shirts, or skater wear in general, you can click the link in the description and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful for everyone who made it up until this point. You guys are literally legends. Until next time, Go and conquer the galaxy for managed democracy. And I will see you in the next video so democracy prevails.